as a filmmaker, I tend to doubt myself a lot. Like, am I doing this right? Am I a good director? Am I taking care of my crew? Am I taking care of my cast? I'm always taking all these things into account. And I feel like as a director, it's super important to be a people person and make sure everybody on the crew is taken care of and thought about. And I want to be a human first before I'm a director or a leader. So when I call action, wait like three seconds before you put the phone down because I want the camera to land when you uh, put the phone on the garage. All right. Let's go for it. All right. Quiet on set, everyone. Quiet on set. Camera. Rolling. Down. Growing up, I was a pretty shy kid. I had a lot of social anxiety. And I kind of struggled with trying to find my niche and where I fit in. I just was like so lost and I didn't, didn't think I was particularly good at anything. But I had such a love for the arts. And I originally wanted to be an actress. I would do a lot of plays on stage and I would do all these musicals. But I couldn't get rid of that stage fright. So I was trying to figure out a way to still tell my stories and be part of the arts without being on stage. And I realized that I could be behind the camera and I don't have to be in front of a camera. Yeah, your position right now is good. Okay. Um, but I think Carly should definitely, Josephine should be in the middle. Film has such a great power in spreading awareness about social, political issues. It really has such a power to impact people's thoughts and perceptions of things. You can walk out of a movie theater and just have a completely changed perspective on life, on people. And I just loved that element of film, drawing emotion for people, creating shock, creating love, even educating some people about certain things. I learn more about myself, how I behave and how I interact with people. I think it's a great tool in just learning more about life. Can you cheat out? So like, can you be a little bit behind okay. aim so that yeah. they can see, but not yeah. too far behind? Okay. Okay. All right. Ready? Yep. And action. It's really hard for me to like, force myself to come up with an idea. Whenever I make a film, I kind of just go throughout my day and wait till like something comes to me. So Fruits of Your Labor really just came from personal experiences and it developed when I went into college. I've met a lot of transplants in my life. I worked with a lot and I feel like the newer generations that come to the city just have this skewed perspective of New York and the immigrants that are in it. People need to see that not, not everything outside of Manhattan is scary and dirty and gross. The thing I'm most proud of of this film is highlighting the Filipino community. I feel like there aren't a lot of voices in film that, that highlight this specific culture. 
And throughout the film, I was just constantly concerned that I wouldn't highlight Jackson Heights accurately or the Filipino culture accurately. And I was always battling between, should I even have a fruit vendor? Should he even write that character in if I don't particularly know a fruit vendor in real life? And I was always just concerned about the backlash, but I feel like as a filmmaker, you kind of just have to do what you're passionate about. And if it's part of your story, do it. As someone who doesn't see people like me on screen a lot and doesn't see a lot of Filipina filmmakers or people of color and specifically women of color in charge, I thought this project was super important. I want other young Filipina women to watch this and be able to relate and be inspired by this. Having such a supportive community that is genuinely excited for me and wants me to pursue this film, constantly checking up on me and making sure that the film is the best it can be. I love working with Brittany. I feel so safe on her sets and a lot of her work centers around, you know, Filipino-American identity. And as a Filipino-American myself, it's easier to communicate how she wants the look of the film to be because she just wants it to be authentic. With our casting crew being mostly Filipino, we were getting an accurate representation of what the film is about, what the culture is. I feel really lucky to be a part of something written by Brittany Bautista, who is an Asian American filmmaker. I never really saw myself as a director. Again, I was shy and I didn't think I could be any sort of leader. This film gave me motivation and courage to pursue directing more. If I could tell my younger self, who was shy and doubted herself a lot, one thing, it would definitely be to keep pushing forward. Everything you're doing has purpose and it will be worth it and you just have to believe in yourself because you are an amazing artist. You just need to keep going.